What is happening and welcome to another Four Wheel Drive Talk episode, episode 54 in Friends. Holy smokes, this is our last video for 2022. What an exciting year it has been. But I will say this though, we have a ton of very exciting stuff coming around the corner uh, for 2023. So you'll definitely want to stay tuned to see what we have coming around the corner. But friends, it is that time for another edition of Four Wheel Drive Talk. And we've got some very interesting items to discuss today. Now, first off, we're going to chat about a new software update for the Rivian R1T and the R1S that makes them more capable in snowy and icy conditions, which is hell just in time when you're factoring in half the country is buried underneath eight feet of snow. Then we're going to talk about the Ford uh, F-150 Lightning in its ballooning price tag. And then we're going to close off things about a new F-50 uh, Raptor that will get the Hennessy treatment. Now, if you know Hennessy, you know this truck is going to be badass. Now we're going to talk about all these stories here in just a moment. But first, friends, look, every single week we put these videos together to keep you informed as far as what is happening in the industry. And small little bite-sized little news nuggets. Now, of course, where I'm leading with this, of course, is, hey, if you find some value with this video or just simply wanna do us a solid, we sure would appreciate you crushing the hell out of that like button because it really does help with the whole YouTube algorithm. That said, my friends, let's get on to this week's news. Starting things off with uh, Rivian's newest software update for the R1T and the R1S is just in time for some winter driving. Now, one of the new features that is now available is snow mode, which as you guessed it, makes the Rivians much more capable when driving in snowy, icy, and slushy conditions. Now, the update uh, softens the pedal response, which gives you a smoother acceleration. Likewise, it helps prevent wheel lock and slipping when the vehicle is decelerating. Now, this is accomplished with a new low brake regeneration setting and an improved auto hold function that helps the vehicle make more controlled stops in winter conditions. Now, the new software update also adds new options for getting the Rivian warmed up. So you can use the Rivian mobile app to de-ice the mirrors and windows. And now the app offers the ability to turn on individual seats and steering wheel heat. Now with the Arctic blast that is headed across the country this week, these features are no doubt gonna be very popular with Rivian owners throughout the nation. Now, one thing to know about this, uh, Rivian does warn that the snow mode is for snowy, icy conditions only, not for off-road use. So if you encounter uh, snow on the trail, Rivian recommends that you stick with the off-road all-terrain mode. Now, there's no doubt that the F-150 Lightning is a huge success for Ford. Now, as we discussed last week, the Lightning manages to blend in the styling of the gas-powered truck that underpinnings of an EV as well, and people can't get enough of that. Now, the unfortunate part about this is that the Lightning is expensive, and it's getting much more expensive as time goes by. For example, the 2023 Lightning Pro, which is the basic model, now has a base price of nearly 50 eight thousand big ones now this is a increase of forty one hundred dollars now that increase is big enough on its own but if you add in the previous hikes over the course of the last year the lightning pro has gone up in price by a whopping sixteen thousand dollars now likewise the lightning xlt price has gone up by forty one hundred dollars as well making the new base price for a cool sixty five thousand three hundred sixty nine dollars yeah, ouch. Now, if you've already ordered a F-150 Lightning, there's good news. Ford is going to honor the price quoted to you when you place the order. But if you haven't ordered or hopped on the Lightning bandwagon as of right now today, well, friends, well, the unfortunate thing about it is you're going to pay a little bit more for your new set of wheels. But if you want to configure your new Lightning and see how much the suckers are going to cost you, visit the link, which, of course, you know I put down in the description for you. Now, the Ford Raptor is a hugely popular among the off-roading enthusiasts and for all good reasons. Now, the stock Raptor has insane power and an incredible suspension in a proven off-road prowess that makes this sucker the top dog among high-powered off-roaders for years. For example, the stock Raptor has 700 horsepower, and friend, that is not a small number, but if you want even more power, taking it up a whole nother notch, well, the folks over at Hennessy might have something for you. Now, this sucker is called the Hennessy 
Velociraptor 1000. And this thing promises to put a thousand horses on the pavement or sand or mud or whatever the hell that you're at. Now, a truck with a thousand horsepower is possible because Hennessy has the components from a previous build on the Mustang or the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. <laughs> Now that vehicle featured Hennessy's Predator 5.2 liter supercharged V8 of a beast of an engine that put down 1200 horsepower. So it shouldn't be hard to get a thousand horses out of the engine in the Velociraptor, right? Well, Hennessy seems to think it is possible. Now to achieve a thousand horsepower, Hennessy will pair the Predator engine with a 3.8 liter supercharger, which is going to replace the stock Raptor 2.65 liter supercharger. Now, in addition to upgrades, uh, it includes larger uh, fuel injectors, upgraded uh, fuel lines, and a new supercharger belt, and also high flow induction system. Now, of course, Hennessy also has some aesthetic changes planned to make the Velociraptor stand out from stock Raptors. So production of this insane truck is slated to begin in 2023, so no price has been announced yet, but it is going to be safe to assume that this sucker is gonna have a have a big price tag with the big power that you're getting there. But if you want more details about the Velociraptor 1000, head over to Hennessy's website, which of course, yes, I put a link down in the description below for you. And friends, that is it for the news this week. Now, one last thing, our giveaway has ended, so stay tuned next week where we're gonna announce the winners and also talk about the new giveaway that we're gonna kick off 2023 with. Well, friends, that is Wow, as cliche as it sounds, that's all I have for you this year. I'm going to see you next year. I always feel like a dork saying that. But anyways, I'm going to go with the flow and just own it and go with it. But friends, have a, you know, 2022 has been a fantastic year. It's been a lot of fun. And I appreciate every one of you in supporting the channel that you've done here. You know, hey, let's face it. You On YouTube, you have a ton of options that could be soaking up your time. So I'm honored to have you here. And I hope we've provided some entertainment and some value to you. And now it's that time of the video where, friends, I'm going to ask you to do all that YouTube stuff before I go turning off the camera. So if you haven't already, please consider hitting the like button, the subscribe button, and hit uh, all notifications. So therefore, you don't miss a single video just like the one you just watched here. And friends, that is officially all I have here for you. So have a great New Year's. And friend, as I said a moment ago, I'll see you in 2023. And you get out there, stay healthy, and find your adventure.